This is an example of using the ParaView visualizer to look at an open foam computational fluid dynamics model of air flowing over a sailboat. This grid here is simulates 100 meters by 100 meters by 50 meters of air, and in the center of the grid is the modeled sailboat. In this case, the sailboat is a J32, which is about a 10 meter length um, hull. Now the simulated airflow has been set at an angle, so we have 15 knots of wind moving at a 30 degree angle. So this is a close hauled simulation. And the colorization of the streamlines is based on velocity. This is in meters per second. So the bulk velocity corresponds to about seven and a half meters per second. And that's about equal to 15 knots. There's accelerated regions here on the leeward side of the sails. Um, and also you can see decelerated bluer color on the windward side of the sails. As you might expect, those velocity differences gave rise to pressure differential across the surfaces. So now I'll colorize the hull and sails based on pressure. This is in pascals. This neutral color is atmospheric pressure. Reddish tints are higher pressure and bluish tints are lower pressure. So if we look at the leeward side of the sails, we can see uh, reduced pressure, particularly on the leading edge of the jib, which really helps drive the boat forward. If we go back and look in more detail at the streamlines, those flowing over the middle of the sail are roughly parallel to the surface of the water, but there's some twist imparted on them after they leave the uh, reach of the mainsail. It's a little more complicated up near the mast, the um, airflow here ends up generating a vortex, which you can see essentially centered on the junction between the jib and the mast. That's very similar to tip vortices given off by airplanes. What's different for an airplane is airplanes don't have a gap between the fuselage and their wings, or in this case, a gap between the sails and the hull. But of course sailboats do, and that is an area where air can, can leak, basically bypassing the sails. And that ends up generating another large vortex, one that extends behind the sailboat. So if you're a racer, you recognize that these vortices are bad air that we uh, aim towards people downwind of us to help slow them down. So if you want more details, go to the Sail CFD Google site and you'll see uh, further explanations.